Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to another speed build video. Um, today's video is just going to be building an apartment, uh, one bedroom, one bath using the paranormal stuff pack that just came out a little while ago. I haven't really got a chance to play around with this pack very much, so I thought today would be a perfect time to kind of explore the different items that came with the pack and I thought 1313 21 Sheik Street would be the perfect place to do this build because it's the apartment that needs TLC and I thought a paranormal build would be perfect for this location. So I'm just working on the living room space right now just filling it with a bunch of clutter, a lot of mismatched colored pieces, just trying to make it as vibrant as possible. Um, it's a lot different than my normal building style but it was a nice challenge to just kind of do something different, kind of play around with the different items that I don't usually get to play with in my builds. I usually just keep it to just my generic style, but yeah, just finishing off the string lights in the living room and moving on to the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen was a little bit darker than I'd liked it to be in the end, but I added a lot of pops of color, so it kind of flows together within um, the rest of the house. It kind of has a nice theme. But now I'm just adding um, a couple extra countertops and adding the kitchen table. I could only fit a square one in, but I was able to fit three chairs around it. I started off with four and then I took one out because I did want a standing cabinet just to the right of where all the cabinet spaces are. Sorry, I mean to the left of the cabinets, but now I'm just trying to figure out the top cabinets that I want to place down and then just finishing off the kitchen with a bunch of clutter. Um, there's different foods. I did some pots and pans in there and of course added a lot of plants just to make sure it was really full and looked a little bit different than my normal builds. When I was making this, I envisioned the sim that would be living here would kind of be an artistic type, maybe a spellcaster or into the witch and paranormal vibe, which I don't normally build with or play with in my gameplay. So this was kind of fun and I could branch out and do something a little bit different than my traditional style of <laughs> building. So working on the bathroom now, I went really dark with this and I added a lot of clutter. I thought because it's the only bathroom space, um, there would be a lot of different items in here and it's a single sim so all her stuff would probably be in this bathroom just sitting around but yeah just including a few more pieces and moving on to the dual purpose room it is a computer room slash spare room just in case uh, this sim had a guest over and they wanted to stay over or if she wanted to read in here or use the computer. I just created an extra space for that reason and it's an additional bedroom. <laughs> what I found when I was working with this pack was that there wasn't many clutter pieces to add. So as you can see, I'm just placing a few um, plants, a few different objects that I think a spell caster would be interested in. Um, the framework also of the rooms, I tried to keep in theme with the style of the house and just finishing off this space with a little reading area which I normally add to most of the rooms in my builds but yeah this is the last room in the home it is the main bedroom it was probably one of my favorite rooms to do when I was building actually I loved how the colors turned out all the little accent pieces and it just looks so cute for an eccentric sim who's just loving life but I'm going to end the voice over here, you guys. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I sense there's something.